going on everybody? My name is Vic and welcome to The Collective Gamer. So we're going to switch things up a bit on this channel. Today, instead of focusing on video games, we're going to actually go into detail of one of the things that actually allows me to do my hobby, collect my games, and also play them. You guys know it, you've probably tried it, you've probably written it one. We're talking about Uber. So before we get into it, I do have a small request for you guys. I humbly ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to show your support concerning this is a YouTube channel, a very small YouTube channel, feel free to go down in the link below, uh, check out my online store, and if you see something you like, feel free to buy and support the channel. So to make this a little bit more impersonal, I decided to move from the recording studio straight to the car. So a couple things I'm going to be covering on this channel is number one, how much I pay uh, for gas each week. Number two, how much I make on average. Number three, how much I made in the month. Um, and number four, commonly asked questions that people want to know about Uber. So let's start with the big question, shall we? Number one, how long have I been working for Uber? So I started driving for Uber legit in 2023. It took me a while to get the paperwork done. I did that back in 2022, but as soon as I was cleared to drive, I hit the road. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. If you don't have a love for the road, this job is gonna bore you to tears, all right? It's pretty repetitive. All you do is go to a destination, pick up a client, and then drop them off at their preferred location, and then you go on your way. So telling you more about my day, uh, number one, I clean my car once a week, because a clean car is a healthy car. On average, uh, customers actually like that I keep my car very clean. Um, they feel more welcome when the car is nice and clean, and they actually tip more, because not only do I keep the car clean, but I try to make them as comfortable as possible I ask what kind of music they like and stuff like that those little things I kid you not really mean the most now when you're driving a client it's pretty straightforward you'll have different types of people the first type is the quiet types where pretty much don't say anything they get in they say their name they say hi how are you pretty much it and then they're quiet for the rest of the ride another type that you can have is the chatty Kathy which is what I like to call them um, and they prefer to talk to you the entire ride, which is respectable, I understand, but again, you're in control. If you feel like you are talking way too much with them and you need to focus on the road, then you are allowed to cut the conversation short, say, listen, I'm trying to focus on the road, get you there safely. Uh, we could talk more in a bit. And then you get those really entitled people, I kid you not, that think they rule your car as soon as they enter the car. I am glad to say that I've had very few of those people. Most of my riders are very respectable. Um, the ones that aren't, you do have a right to kick them out of your car. Uh, let's just pray that that never happens to you because again, you drove there, you want to make that money, and you want to have your good ratings. For those of you who are driving a Tesla, Prius, or any electric vehicle or hybrid, kudos on you, you are actually beating me. I am doing this in a 2020 Civic, so I'm going to let you know on average that I get 30 miles per gallon. So far, I've had a pretty good run so far. I'm making an average of $24 an hour just riding people around here in Fitchburg. Um, that's pretty much it. What I do is every time it gets to half or I need to put in six gallons, I pretty much stop at a gas station and I refuel. And I kid you not, based on the average, I only pay $20 to fill up my tank. So I kid you not, driving 180 miles, pretty much that's 20 bucks to fill up the tank. You drive 180. On average, that gets me about 60 to to $100 per fill. Okay, so we're back in the studio. So I'm going to show you guys week by week exactly how much I made. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened every week that affected those numbers, and here we go. I want to point out that this is only a side gig, uh, so actual numbers will vary. Um, so starting off on the first week, I kid you not, that was still the week where pretty much um, the paperwork was being processed, my background check, ooh, that took forever. Don't get me started on that. So moving on to the second week of January, that's when we really started to see some numbers. Um, I worked five out of seven days. I took two days off, um, mostly because I didn't want to overwhelm myself. Uh, and I was actually able to make a little bit more than $200. Keep in mind, this is just as a side gig. I'm not doing this full time. I still have my nine to five job. I'm still working those hours and I'm just doing this with the energy and time I have left. Moving on to the next week, we go into the third week of January. I was able to make 268. Um, as you can see, it was a very good week. Uh, I was actually able to make more in less time. Uh, 10 hours, 22 minutes, I made a total of 20 trips, and I came out with a total of $268. Uh, moving on to the next week, um, this is a fine example of how the numbers aren't consistent. All right, uh, on this week, we actually had a couple snow days, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't like driving in snow. Uh, people bring in a whole bunch of dirt and stuff uh, into your car. It just makes cleaning a lot more of a hassle. 
All right, so I worked a little bit last two hours and 21 minutes. I made six trips on the good days, Tuesday and, uh, Tuesday and Saturday, and I walked away with a total of $55.40. Moving on to the last week of January, we're looking at, um, I was able to work eight hours and 42 minutes. I made 19 trips, and I was able to walk out with a total of $205.70. Next month, I'm going to be doing a different challenge. I'm going to be switching over my platform to Lyft to see whether or not uh, it actually makes me more money than Uber does. Lyft is actually giving me a very good promotion, which is why I'm trying to do them next month. They're giving me a $700 bonus if I do 60 rides, so it's definitely worth the time for me to switch from Uber to Lyft. So I will be posting another video about my progress with Lyft next month. If you guys want to see the numbers and stuff like that, if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns about doing ride sharing in general, please let me know. Uh, put your comments down below, your questions in the comments down below, and I will answer them when I can.